To be fair, from the very start on, it should be called Isolde und Tristan. The Isolde palette of colors, of affections, are more rich than normally in male characters. And that would apply very often in opera. This particular production is less focused in telling the story and focus on going through the emotional development of, of every scene. As women, we can all understand some things of his order because we live in a society where women are usually objectified. There are some things she goes through that are very understandable. Her feelings are not taken into account. Nothing matters what she thinks, what she wants. She's just used as an exchange object. What I find interesting is how Philippe wants to present us on stage. For the, the usual standards, as an opera singer, you have to look amazing, you have to be gorgeous. All those things don't matter here. We're looking for something that is more in the basic biology, animality. It's leaving it raw. The way the female nudity is presented is very interesting. From my perspective, women are not objectified. It's a female naked body, which you see everywhere in museums, in art history. The way the, these women are presented, they are women that they are very connected to themselves. They are not putting a show for someone else. It's something very, very private, very meaningful, and it's, it's beautiful, I think. It's a dreamy world, and I think we should consider that as a dreamy journey. It's a proposal that is not trying to, to think or reflect in, in real time. If you allow yourself into it, it's like submerging into an ocean of ecstasy. The conception of Philippe is to really go radically into this musical installation. It's like an um, undeniable body experience for the audience. It's a good opportunity to connect with something that is taking you out of the intellectual uh, field and, and, and connected to something that we all need. You know?